In this tutorial, we will create a new page and of course, I'll do the HTML of that page. Alright, so to create a new page, come to your application, make sure you're on your application. Right, Ionic generates page, then you call the name of the page. In my case, I'll just call it login because that's a login page, I'll just hit enter. Then you wait a few seconds and Ionic will automatically add a page into your pages folder. This pages folder, Ionic will generate the login page folder and add here. So let's uh, look at, I'll pause this video until it, it works out. Alright, as you can see, Ionic has generated the page plot login for us. So we can just go to our application and we will look at the pages. And as you can see, a new folder has been created for us. If we log in, if we click on it, we'll see that it has login.html login.module.ts, login.scss and login.ts. So if we go to our login.ts, we'll see that it's exporting login page, all right? So we need to import it from our app.component.ts. For us to be able to use it here, we need to import it from here. So to import it, I'll just duplicate one of these lines because I'm lazy and I'll call it login call it login page and I'll say login that is the login folder and the login.cs file so we are going to pages folder the login folder and the login.cs file we're just basically telling it that it should go here and it's going to see uh, a class being exported and the class name will be login page all right so now as you can see what we're basically doing is uh, if the user is logged in redirect to home page if the person is not logged in this this basically is not redirect what is basically doing is it's setting the home page or the root page the default page to the login page if the user is not logged in but if the user is logged in the default page will be home page so let's go check it out in our browser and see whether it works so if we come here we'll see that we have an error in our code that is saying no firebase app default um what we can do is to make sure that our that our firebase was initialized i'll go to app.module and see that actually it was initialized so what i will personally do is to restart my server and um, have it work so i'll just go and restart my server Control c on your keyboard Control c again then if you do ionic surf I'll, I'll personally close this i'll have to close this then go into the app again ionic upload then from here I'll right click um, that's the best way to restart your server to make sure that your um, Ionic serve so I'll pause this video whenever it, it's finished um, serving we'll check out whether it's resolved our problem so I've restarted my server as you can see here but um, it doesn't uh, resolve my problem because our problem is in several layers I've restarted my server and it's running so if I go to my browser I'll see that I've expanded this. This is the, the app. As you can see, it's saying cannot set property root page of undefined. Alright, so if we go back to our app components page and we go to root page, it's saying root page of undefined. It's saying that this is not defined. In Firebase, this the, the this keyword has a different scope inside uh, the Firebase functions, um, Firebase closure function. So what we're going to do is to save var that equal to this so this helps us to uh, declare another variable and use it inside since this will not work we can use that i hope the word play is not confusing you so uh we can do now is what we can do now is to refresh as you can see it's working perfectly well for us and then the next one is um like i told you the problem is in different layers the next layer is that it's saying no component factory found for login page Alright, when we created our login page from what we have here, we created our login page, it's automatically created our page, but there is something that it didn't do. In Ionic, whatever page you create, you need to list it to an app.module.ts. So we have our login page created here. Then in app.module.ts, we need to import it first. So to import it, I'll just do Ctrl, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. That duplicates a line for me. I'll just import it. So every page in your application needs to be imported into your your app.modules.ts. So I'll call it login. Login. We've imported the login page. Then what we can do from now on is to um, 
all right so now we've imported it we have to now set it up in several different places if we scroll down see that we need we need to declare all our pages so we've declared home page by default and list page i only did it for us for us so we are going to declare the the login page you understand and the next thing we're going to do is call down the entry components we have we have home page and list page we're going to have a login page too don't forget to add the comma don't forget to add the comma list, login page and comma our login page there all right every other thing looks cool and if we go back to our browser now we can see that it uh, works perfectly so what i'll do is just uh, inspect elements so that it will look like a mobile app for me when i inspect element as you can see we're not logged in so we are being thrown to the login page according to the code we wrote here we said if the user is not logged in throw him to the login page and that's where we are that's thrown us so in the next video we'll create the login control so that the user can log in and then if the user logs in successfully they'll be redirected to the home page so thank you very much for following this far and see you in the next video